Hey y'all, and welcome to Wingbeat TV. This is the first episode of The Winged Kitchen. This is a segment that we would like to share our favorite recipes that have been passed down to us from our families, generation upon generation. Today is January 22nd. Tomorrow, January 23rd, my mom and dad, Merle and Fred Scharf, would have been married for 58 years. Why I bring this to your attention is because this recipe in front of me is one of my mom's very favorites. She loved to bake bread. My dad and I loved to eat her baked bread. So let's start. You don't need a lot of ingredients, but the ingredients that you do need are important. This here is bread flour, Fleischmann's active yeast, some sugar, some water. So the first part of making this bread is to do what's called proofing. Proofing means you activate the yeast. Then, with this wire whisk, you just whisk it out, and you'll immediately start to smell bread. You let it rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, and our yeast has proofed. The first thing we're gonna do is put in two cups of bread flour. We're going to put in the salt, which is two teaspoons, excuse me, of salt. I always like to use sea salt. It's healthier for you. So you mix the proofed yeast in with the bread flour. Then I'm going to add my two cups of warm water. Get that stirred around. Then I'm going to add two more cups of the bread flour. It will start to form a, a dough and you'll know if you've added enough flour and enough water soon. Oops, a little bit on the floor. That's okay. Cats will get it. <laughs> it smells great as well. Where the cat enters. <laughs> Polly, are you helping? This is Polly Paul, our, our polydactyl cat. He has a lot of claws and he loves it when mommy cooks. If you're looking to uh, get a good arm workout, make some bread, make your family happy. I didn't get to tell you why we're making this bread. Um, today was a very rainy and cold day here in Alabama. And my husband, Dominic, and I decided to make a wonderful beef stew. What goes better with beef stew? Well, homemade baked bread. Might be a nice meal for you to think of for your family. And here's Polly. Are you coming to help? And we're about to turn it out onto our board. Ah, very nice. Okay. And then Polly's trying to help with the flour. Thanks, Polly. You're such a good helper. There you go. Okay. Put that down. Get rid of this. Okay. I'm going to flour up my hands. And now the fun part begins. So we roll it. We tuck it in. Good. And we press it down with the palm of my hand. That's really important. Okay. It's looking good. This bread is practically ready to go into the next phase which is its rise. We have two rises for the bread. The first rise is one hour, and the second rise is 30 minutes. So I'm gonna turn this bread over, make it into a ball. Okay, so now that you've kneaded the dough, you're gonna take Pam cooking spray, butter spray, whatever you have, spray the bottom of a mixing bowl just like that 
you're gonna take your bread dough off the board. It will be a little bit sticky because it's starting to um, incorporate. And then you put it down in the, ball, in the bowl and then you flip it around once so that it is completely covered by the spray. Like that. Take um, a nice clean dish towel, drape it over, and then put it in a warm place and let it rise for one hour. Okay, so our dough has been raised for one hour. I'm gonna take off the towel and show you how beautiful this raised dough looks. The fun part is coming up next. We're gonna punch this dough down. Are you ready? Here we go. You actually take a fist and you punch the dough down. It kind of deflates and then you scoop it around and you collect it into a ball. Then with this hair ball, you put it on a floured surface and you start to knead it down. The kneading part is very important as always with making bread. You want to use the palm of your hand and press, press, press and shift and press, press, press. Again, this is going to activate more of that yeast that has been in the bread dough, making it rise. Okay, so you get it into a shape that you like. In our case, for this evening's purpose, we're going to make loaves. I'm going to make two loaves out of this here bread. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut this dough in half. This bread can make two delicious loaves to feed a family. Okay, so I just keep kneading it with the palm of my hand and I'm gonna roll it you always want to have the seam side down. Okay, there's one. More of the Pam's cooking spray or butter spray, whatever you need to use that you have around. Spray it down your pan. We're gonna put one loaf down and the second loaf down. We're gonna take that same clean towel we're gonna drape it over the loaves and we're gonna let it raise for another 30 minutes. So our bread has been raised for another 30 minutes. Here it is. Two Italian loaves. They look really beautiful. Now, the next step is to take one egg and do an egg wash. So you wanna just break the egg and you only want the whites. So you separate the whites from the yolk. There you go. And then you take your wire whisk and you whisk it. So what you're doing is basically making an egg wash to coat the top of the loaf, which will make it a little bit crispy. Okay, there you go. Then you take your brush and you coat the top of the bread and wash it over with the egg, and it makes it nice and crispy on the top. Now your loaves are bathed in an egg wash. Ta-da! Here they are, our two home-baked delicious breads. Don't they look delicious? And there we have it. Paula Ann's Mama's Home Baked Bread Recipe. If you like what you see here, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you can stay in tune with Wing Beat TV and all of our upcoming episodes of The Wing Kitchen, where we'll be showing you also how to make this delicious beef stew recipe of ours, as well as many other great recipes and cooking tips and all sorts of neat stuff. So until then, my friends, bon appetit. Bon appetit.